Okay, so uh, we want to see the muscles in the neck. Uh, we to be oriented. Uh, this is the hyoid bone, and we have suprahyoid muscles and infrahyoid muscles. We will start by uh, tracing the suprahyoid muscles. Firstly, we have this muscle. This is the anterior belly of the digastric muscle. If we want to trace the posterior belly, we will go a little aside here. You can see, you can appreciate that we have here two muscles over here. You can see the inferior one, basically, it is the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. Above it, we have the stylohyoid muscle, which is basically uh, attached uh, from the styloid process in the temporal bone and to the hyoid bone. These uh, muscles, the digastric, two bellies of the digastric with the stylohyoid muscle, they are forming uh, the submandibular triangle, or it is called the digastric triangle. One of its content is this one, which is the salivary gland, or it is called the submandibular gland. Other content is the uh, submandibular lymph node that uh, it's not shown here. Uh, you, you palpated during the lymph node examination. Okay, this bone basically, you can see this is the mandible. Okay, uh, now going beside or medial to the digastric, this 87. This muscle, it is the mylohyoid. It forms the floor of the submental triangle. Going here, this is the... Uh, this one? Okay, so before doing this, uh, again, I want to mention about uh, the mylohyoid. This one is the continuation of the mylohyoid, this one. Okay, you can see. Going again to this muscle, this is the geniohyoid muscle. Okay, now going here, this muscle, 85, this is the hyoglossus, it is between, between the hyoid bone and the tongue. Uh, going to the infrahyoid muscles, the citrap muscles, we have, you can appreciate this, how long is it? 90, uh, 93, this one. This is the sternohyoid muscle. Lateral to the sternohyoid muscle, we will see the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle. If we want to trace the posterior belly, uh, the inferior belly, sorry, for the omohyoid, we will go to the posterior triangle here. This is the inferior belly of the omohyoid. You can see this is the superior belly. This is sternohyoid, superior belly of omohyoid, and inferior belly of the uh, omohyoid. Now, this, this you can appreciate the uh, posterior triangle of the neck. It's made by uh, this muscle, which is the sternocleidomastoid from the mastoid process in the temporal bone. And here we have two uh, origin, uh, I mean the mastoid is the insertion, two origin here. Uh, we have the clavicular head and the uh, sternal head, okay? Uh, now here you can appreciate the trabezius, the descending fibers of the trabezius here. So these are the boundaries of the posterior triangle. Uh, now, the inferior belly of the omohyoid, it will divide the posterior triangle into the occipital part and the supraclavicular part. Okay, now returning back to the citrap muscle, so we say the sternohyoid and the omo superior belly of the omohyoid. This one, you can appreciate it down, this muscle. Basically, it is sternothyroid, okay, going to the thyroid cartilage, sternothyroid. Uh, Okay, now going here, this is the thyroid cartilage, okay, of the larynx, and this is the prominence of the thyroid, this is the lamina of the thyroid cartilage. Be above it and below it, we have two membranes. Uh, above it, we have the thyrohyoid membrane, this one, or at, is, it, is it written in the catalog as a thyroid membrane? Below it, we have the cricothyroid ligament as it is written in the catalog. Now going here to the, uh, this muscle, it's also one of the infrahyoid muscle, it is the thyrohyoid, thyrohyoid muscle. Okay, here, this muscle, it is the cricothyroid muscle, cricothyroid, which is responsible for the high-pitched sound and uh, innervated by external laryngeal nerve. Okay, you can appreciate here, this is the trachea, tracheal ring, and here we have the thyroid gland. Just, uh, you know, this is the isthmus, and it, the isthmus lies between the second, third, fourth tracheal ring. This is the upper lo loop and the lower lobe. 
okay uh, upper lobe related to c5 lower lobe related to t1 okay okay so uh, this is the thyroid gland and it has two lobes it is the left and right lobes okay so here you can see this is the isthmus of the thyroid gland and it is related to the tracheal ring this is the trachea it is lied between the second third fourth tracheal rings and uh, we have this is the left lobe of the thyroid it's uh, basically from c5 till t1 okay for the for the arterial supply uh, we will mention it later now going to the posterior triangle of the neck uh, we say it here it is made by these two muscles the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius uh, here's the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius are uh, not shown uh, in the left in order to see the deep muscles here so you can appreciate this is the anterior scalene muscle and this is the 99 uh, the uh, medius scalene muscle and this one is the posterior scalene muscle you can appreciate how the brachial plexus is between the scalene muscles the anterior and the medius now so this is the posterior scalene and this one 101 this is the levator scapulae all these muscles are in the uh, so all these muscles here the scalene and the levator scapulae are uh, in the uh, musculovertebral block